Hello and welcome. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to simply add a PDF to your WordPress website. I'm going to show you two different ways, one through a link and one through an image. Um, before we get started, you're going to create your PDF in a program like Microsoft Word or an online digital program like Canva or using one of the Adobe products. Then what you're going to do next after you've created your PDF and saved it, you're going to click on Add Media, then Upload Files. You're simply going to drag that PDF you created into your media file. Now keep in mind, you can have several pages in your PDF, but depending on your site, um, it may or may not be too large for you to add. Now the next thing we're going to do is change the title to whatever you want to appear as the hyperlink on your post or page. And we're gonna change it to that. And you wanna make sure that it's that the link to is selected to media file and the, the link is there and you'll insert that into your post. And now you can see that you have a linked PDF here. We're gonna click save draft. And we'll just double check it, check it on the preview. So we'll cl click preview. And when you select free resources hyperlink, there you go. You can say that's right there. Okay, so that's one way you can upload a PDF and share it on your site. Now I want to show you the second way to do this. What you'll do is you will open up your PDF on your computer and you'll want to minimize it a little bit so that you've got the front cover image. On a Mac you can select shift command and three to take a screenshot. You're going to open your screenshot up and simply use your mouse to select and crop out the area that you do, you want to use, then I push Command K to crop. Again, that was Command K. I'm going to change the name of the um, PDF to resources before I add it in. And I'm going to select Add Media going to go ahead and drag that image. Now again, this is an image, not a PDF. We'll add that into the media library. We're going to wait just a second. Hopefully it'll load up. Okay, we're going to take a step back and do this one more time. To select add media one more time. Let's see if that image is there. There's the image. Now that it's loaded, I want you to go back to the PDF, click on it, and select, highlight and select the URL. We're going to copy it and now we're going to click back to the image. So now we're going to navigate down to the attachment display settings and make sure that you've selected custom URL. You're going to replace the URL with the PDF's URL and insert that to the post. You can also adjust the size of the image and save as a draft. Now, just to make sure everything is up and running, we're going to view this post and click on it to make sure it worked. And as you can see, I clicked on it and here is the actual PDF. Now, just to clarify, one of the reasons why um, a lot of people wanna offer PDFs is so that they can create a password protected library. You can provide lots of different PDFs in this library, but have it locked down so that a reader would have to subscribe to your email list and be sent the password in order to access this library. 
And in order to create that library, all you need to do is make the page password protected and come up with a password that you'll send out to, to whoever subscribes on your list. And they'll be guided. You can send the link to the password protected page and have them enter in the password. so that they have access to the library. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and let us know and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.